A dead dog on the side of the road and now a burned up truck. Two clues that investigators hope lead them to this missing Anderson County man. Bobby Harvey has been missing since Sunday. He disappeared from the car dealership where he works. And that's where Nicole Ford is uh, live tonight. And Nicole, we understand it's been quite a busy day for investigators. Yeah, police say the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Bobby Harver are suspicious, concerning, and leave a lot of questions. Now, tonight, his family will gather right here at his business in Anderson, where he was last seen, to pray for some answers. In the woods of Pelzer, we just want Bobby. We just want Bobby. Law enforcement searches for an Anderson man who is missing. Because he really, really it is a good man. He really is a good person. As his family asks for his safe return, 44-year-old Bobby Harvey was last seen Sunday at his car dealership All Rides off the 29 bypass in Anderson. Since then, police have been connecting the dots. I would say it's concerning um, that we need to look into this case um, a little bit further because of um, some of the circumstances that we're, we're found out. From Harvey's dog found dead in Creightonville to the discovery of his cell phone and finally the charred remnants of his car. It was found by Greenville County. Um, Monday it was found and um, it was towed. But no sign of Harvey. Wednesday, investigators were back out at that scene in Pelzer searching for anything that would help them locate this family's loved one. We love you. We're not going to stop until we find you. I make that promise. Um, we've not stopped since you left and we won't stop until you're home. Now, this is still an active investigation by the Anderson Police Department, and while they continue searching for answers, that family will be out here tonight, and they're asking anyone who does know Bobby Harbor to come out and pray for some answers with them. They're just looking for any sort of information that could lead to bringing him home. They're expecting about 100 people out here tonight, and they will be providing candles. Live in Anderson tonight, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Thank you, Nicole. A thousand